Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean 3. Last time, we tried to uninstall the Enforcers or Proclaimers or whatever those weird evil enemies were. And we just made matters worse. Now they're smaller and more powerful. So, life sucks. This time, I've put Nell back in my party with a new setup. Not, not equipment, skill-wise. Now, this is a variant on one of the recommended ones out of uh, a character setup guide on GameFAQs, so I'll uh, give them credit for this. Now, the way this works is if you're using a skill like Whirlwind and you have increased HP damage on your other side, say we have short range here and short range here, and I use Whirlwind and then use a normal attack, somehow the passive effect of the increased HP damage will transfer to the Whirlwind hits. Now, I haven't tested this out extensively because I'm lazy and I haven't played this game in a while, so yeah. Not like this time, I just made another episode yesterday, but um, I haven't played this game in a couple of years since then, or before then, so. Anyway, No Guard is also very useful here because Whirlwind tends to take a, a little while to cast up, so you want to avoid being uh, flinched which is basically being knocked around and it stops your ability to use your battle skill. It'll interrupt it and you'll have to start all over again. So I want to throw that on there. Um, other strategies involve putting critical hit HP and max fury. I don't have max fury yet. I will be getting that uh, probably after the next dungeon. So yeah. Anyway, with that being said, let's head down here and initiate a scene. That was the shuttle, wasn't it? Huh? Now what do we do? Well, this is certainly a problem. You don't even know the half of it, Mel. Any transmissions? Hold on. Might as well check the tricorder. Why does it sound like a mixture of static and a fax machine? Ugh, and it came so far. That sounds like Marietta. I got Maria on the communicator. Marietta, Diplo, do you read me? You, Captain. Mirage. So you're all okay. We were sure worried. No doubt. Yeah, when we lost contact with the Aqua Ellie, we didn't know what to think. I see you guys made it too. That's always good. Yep, but it wasn't easy. We'll leave the details for later. Can you come get us right away? Roger. Huh? What happened to the shuttle you took there? We've been through a lot here too, you know? Sorry, but we don't have much time. Right. We'll be there as fast as we can. See you soon. I'm counting on you. Now, they mentioned before we went into 4D space that because the fourth dimension is presumably time, that the amount of time that passes in the Eternal Sphere versus in 4D space should be different. Sorry to keep you waiting, so we don't know That's how long we've been needed. gone at this stage, and I can't remember if they actually mentioned it or not. But anyway, we got picked up, so that's always good. And now we're back to, well, back to the Diplo. And we get random lines of uh, no dialogue, no voice dialogue anyway. Anyway, with that being said, I, if I remember correctly, we now have to talk to everybody. Okay. Yeah. So, apparently time moves differently around them, again, which talks about, you know, 4D space, considering they're, you know, created there. I guess we are too, technically, but they guess that they can alter the parameters of the enforcers, the executioners, whatever you want to call them, so that we have that ability of uh, changing time around them. And if we get them all in one spot, their idea is to freeze time, though I don't know how effective that would be.
Quadrium Spheres? I have no idea what that is. That's probably true enough. I'm not going to talk to everybody twice, but I do need to go talk to a whole bunch of people. Let's check the dictionary on that real quick. Let's see, using some logical essences with a quadratic key, which I think they mentioned in Maria's flashback. Excess amounts of energy, creation energy. Okay, so it's some um, Star Trek terminology that works. And with that being said, let's go view a scene. This is true. Won't take very long, but we still have to talk to everybody. Um, couldn't be you. Could also be Cliff. Cliff could could use some, you know, thought before he does things. Biological weapon, kind of like that duration, blah, 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 blah. Marietta, why are you so tiny? There we go. Hey, Fate, make sure Sophia doesn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Actually, by the end of the game, your most powerful character will probably be Sophia if you train her. Not like by the end of the story, once you max out your levels and gear and everything like that. Yeah, the, the creepy guy who's stalking Maria. Yeah, he's a little bit creepy. <laughs> yeah, probably. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of obsessed with Maria. Probably not. I, I get a feeling he's not too bright. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Maybe affinity would be a better choice of words, because, you know, we have the hidden affinity counters in this game to slightly modify endings, uh, which I won't be doing, and I've mentioned that before, so... Yeah, it just, there's so much to do, and there'd be so much um, testing involved in something like that, that I didn't even do that for my own uh, enjoyment when I was playing the game myself, so I don't see any reason why I would go way far out of my way to find out minute different endings. It just seems far too tedious to me. Alright, now that we went through the scene, and eh, we can talk to them. Yes, they are. Okay, I already talked about that. Talk to you, Marietta. No, I already talked to you. I want to talk to Marietta. Seriously, game. There we go. Um, it hurt too much. Oh well. Let's go downstairs. Talk to everybody down here. And we gotta do this again, unfortunately. Oh, there's Nell. Let's talk to Nell. Um, okay. Yeah, basically they throw a wrench in all of the, uh, you know, the religions and the mythology that are available to the different uh, races of people, different countries, whatever, of all of the worlds in the Eternal Sphere when they decide, oh, by the way, all of your gods were created by an AI program or happen spontaneously. Maybe you guys created them. But, you know, the real gods are the 4D beings who created the entire universe. <laughs> I 
There you go. Kind of a little bit. All right, I'll talk to you later. Stop talking to everybody twice. I just, some people have interesting dialogue when you talk to them multiple times. Oh, land car. I could use a million full. That would be awesome. Lieber, I'm assuming that's Lieber. How long have you been there? Yeah, he's kind of stupid. What's so funny? Well, you're staying outside Maria's door, so I'm just going to walk right in there and talk to her because I can. I can understand her not having, uh, you know, as much hate for Professor Line God at this stage after, you know, all that she's been through. Uh, it doesn't really make a whole bunch of sense that uh, she would still have a great deal of hate for him. Some, yes, uh, but not, you know, the absolute hatred that she had for him beforehand. Not only is he dead now, so she feels an, an amount of sympathy for fate in his situation, but you also have the other aspect of it where it comes to, you know, having to deal with that kind of... I can't even find words. Oh, I need to go take a nap. Oh well, whatever. Let's just keep talking to random people. A few more people, once we talk to everybody, then I think we can move forward again. What do we got here? Hello? Don't need to do that. So, basically, they're not against the Federation for the most part. They're just against parts of it. So, the bureaucracy part, basically. Alright. And we should be able to get healed down here. Heal me, please. Okay. Oops. There we go. He's so easy to treat. Just let him keep getting himself killed. That's all fine and good. <laughs> well, these people are sure taking what we found out um, in 4D space to heart and not, you know, really questioning it all that much. <laughs> it's kind of weird, actually. Uh, I'm skipping through this too fast, probably. Oh well. Now, I think I've talked to everybody, unless there's somebody in here. There is not. Now, it may have the same effect as before. I may either have to talk to these two again. Or I have to go up and down stairs. No. I have talked to everybody. Maybe I have to go back to the cab. If not, then just like before, we'll go and we'll talk to everybody. And, uh, there we go. Guess I don't have to do that. We'll arrive at Elicor 2 soon. Well, that's good. You're ready, right? Of course. And let's head to the transporter room. Huh? Did you say let's? Mirage, don't tell me you're planning on coming too. That's right. There's nothing else I can do here on the Diplo anyway. More it's too party dangerous. members. We could be killed at any time. Are you worried about me? Please don't. I'll be fine. Yes, you will. I know I don't look like much, but I can fend for myself. I'm you the one do who look like Maria much. Fight, you know. If you're still worried about me, talk to Cliff. I don't think he'll try and stop me. Now, I read somewhere that... I'm not sure where it would show this information. Yeah, she joined our party. Awesomeness. Um, but I think it says somewhere that she's fought uh, Cliff in uh, martial arts or whatever, you know, hundreds or thousands of times, and Cliff's never beat her once, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Anyway, she comes with the gear you'd expect her to come with, the most recent stuff we can buy, though for some reason she has carbonite armor. 
Uh, let's give you... I did this off-screen uh, when I was doing the elemental leather for the other two characters because I knew I'd be getting her, so give her one of those and give her the mithril gauntlets. Well, let's give her the laser weapon for now. We'll get her some other stuff later. Give her a bangle. No, I want to give her... Where is it? The blue talisman because she'll be up front. And that one as well, I guess. Uh... I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I will be using her shortly. She's kind of under-leveled, as you can see. Um, we were getting... What, what level did we get Maria at? Level 20? They expect us to be level 30 now? Yeah, I doubt it. The characters come in much under-leveled for some reason. But yeah, I'm going to be switching up my party and using some different characters in the upcoming area. Um, now that we've done this... advanced technology. At least that they give some explanation as to why the place we need to go isn't already destroyed. But yeah, so it's nice that we got her. Now we have some new party members to work with. Um, at this stage in the game, we can actually recruit Albel again, uh, just like we could before. And here's the teleporter pad. This one will always be here now. We're right next to Aquaria. Stop standing around. We know where we are. Or at least I do. Let's go to Aquios. No. And as you can see, we have new enemies here. Yes, everywhere has gotten an upgrade. So there are enemies that are our skill level around the world now. So that's pretty cool. Now, I believe we get access to the next set of inventors. Maybe when we get to Aquios? Maybe it's on the way out. I know it's very shortly. Uh, let's let's fight one of these guys real quick because they're basically like an upgraded version of the ones we fought before. Ow! Ow! With fists of fury is so amazing. Ow! Run away! Can I run away? Go, fists of fury! I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Okay. Now, you will notice that these enemies are drastically more powerful than the ones from before. Wow. And using those skills is particularly irritating. Use Whirlwind. Why am I not using Whirlwind? She wasn't using Whirlwind, and I don't know why. Anyway, Angered. Now, I haven't gone over this yet, but you get... Ang ah, maybe I did at the very beginning of the game during the tutorial, but... Angered happens when a character you have affinity with dies in battle. You get uh, Angered. Basically, what that does is it halves your defense and doubles your attack strength. You can simulate this on an accessory, which you can then synthesize onto a weapon. If you like that, I'm not a big fan of it, because I like having more defense but it's there. Anyway, so yeah, we now have access to new enemies, and they are powerful, so let's uh, acknowledge that. Get ourselves, uh, get our asses kicked there a little bit. Oh well. Now, did I put... I did put Whirlwind on there. I don't know why it didn't work. That was kind of weird. Oh well, I'll we'll have to uh, look into that later. Now, Let's... There it is. The entry that I was looking for. So let's, let's go fast forward through that. It's pretty cool when you look at some of the um, item shops in the game. They have different uh, names that are pretty cool. Item shops, inns, stuff like that. They all have names that are somewhat interesting. There's one that uh, is the Don Quixote shop. I think that's on Moonbase. You know, Arini's, Arinia's Hammer. Um, the one in 40 Space, I think, was like the debugging zone or something like that. But anyway, let's take a look at this, because we got more people. Hey and let's see, a wind ring, some food, some more food, some more food, and an earth homunculus I don't care about. Okay, those are all available now. And we have new adventures. Meryl, want to get her pretty much as soon as we can. Uh, Count Nop on, I'm going to hold off on because that takes, that makes me go a long way back and I don't want to do that until I've got uh, a little further. And Boyd, we will never be recruiting because he requires the Bent, bent Mystic Blade, which 
we need to do bunny races in order to get, and it just takes too long. Best Smith in the game, but he does have that 50% time uh, factor, which makes him really slow and kind of irritating, even if you kind of uh, wanted to use him. I'm not gonna get him. It's the only adventure I won't be getting, but I just, I told you how to get him, so it's not like it's difficult. He's uh, in the weapon shop in Arius, by the way. And with that being said, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Star Ocean 3. Cutscene heavy episode this time, but oh well. We haven't had uh, like a huge one of those in a little while. Been doing a bunch of other stuff, so. Anyway, with that being said, I think the next thing we're supposed to do is to talk to the Queen before we can go to uh, uh, the Shrine of Kadan. And yeah, so next time we will start by talking to her. And then we'll be able to set up a nice new party and get ready to go. So that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.